Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Sunday and I am just in the vlogging mood. I vlogged yesterday and I just made that its own video and I'm vlogging again today. So we're gonna do a nice little Sunday in my life. Um, it's gonna be a super rainy day today. It's actually really nice out, but this is just the calm before the storm. We have like a major storm coming through and it's gonna be raining all day. So I came out this morning just to run a couple of errands. I need to go into Michael's and get a few things. And then I need to go to Sephora to pick up an online order that I placed. And then we're gonna hurry up and head back home before the storm comes. Not what I came in here for, but how cute are these tote bags? They have all of these like different women on them which I love this because I told you guys I'm trying to promote diversity and this would be such a good tote bag to bring to photo shoots so I grabbed one. Every time I'm in this store I just want to go crazy but I need to remember what I came here for because there's a big storm coming and I do not want to be stuck in it so I need to move. Yes I am back in my tie-dye groove like I was this time last year when COVID first started. I just really want to tie-dye stuff. Thinking maybe petal pink and I'll just use a little bit and we can do like pastel pink tie-dye. That'd be cute. Just got out of Michael's and I actually found my strong grip tape, which is one of the main things that I went in there for. And then I found that little bag and I was planning on ordering that tie-dye on Amazon, but it was cheaper at Michael's because they always have their 20% off coupon. So I just grabbed it from there. But I needed this transfer tape when I went to Target last night, but they only had it for the Cricut Joy, like the regular one, not the strong grip. So. I just had to get that for the Explore because it's full length. And then I found this off-brand vinyl. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, but it's like the perfect shade for Sun Styled. I mean, look at that, like, hello. That is literally the color of my logo to a T. So I'm gonna use this one instead of the current pink that I have because this color just matches so much better for when I do my next little Cricut project. Okay, I grabbed my pickup order from Sephora and I'm just so excited because I got some new products to try and I did have a gift card, so it's justified. I had this gift card since Christmas, but I hadn't used it because I don't know, I was just okay with spending my own money. Now that I'm trying to save money, I was like, I'm gonna use this gift card finally, okay? But you're probably wondering why I'm sitting here with my mask on. I'm at Starbucks at the curbside pickup thing, just waiting for them to bring out my order. Second time getting Starbucks all week and I wasn't even gonna end up getting it but I just decided why not, I have a free reward. So I'm literally out spending money, but I'm not really spending money because I have gift card and I have a free reward for my coffee. We're just living it up right now, I don't even know. But the storm is a coming, as you can see. Wind is blowing, it's getting cloudy up in the sky. So I'm back home and I'll show you guys what I got from the Sephora sale. I'm so excited to pick out these new products from Kosas, brand I've been literally dying to try out. So I'll start out with the other stuff first. I just got the Marc Jacobs liquid eyeshadow because this looked like such a pretty color and it's supposed to be like really easy to apply liquid eyeshadow just if like you're not in the mood to do a full eyeshadow look but you still want something on your eyes. And this is the shade Gleam Girl. It's a really pretty shimmery color. The other thing I got is this glossy lip balm from Rare Beauty. It's like a really pretty light sheer rose color so it's just like a good everyday color i don't usually like to put a lot of color on my lips and i specifically wanted to get some products that would make my life easy for doing my makeup during the summertime whenever i self tan i don't feel the need to like cake makeup on as much and since i know i'm going to be self tanning like all the time now because we're going into the summer i decided i wanted to get some products that would kind of just be like easy lighter weight not as heavy or full glam so this is like super pretty i'm just gonna show it to you guys the color in the tube is nothing like what it actually looks like. So this looks like super pink and dark, but I'm gonna swatch it and I'm trying to do this with one hand. But here's what the swatch looks like. So you can see it's like really sheer. So I'm excited for that. And then I got three products for Kosas, which is why I'm so excited. I was literally waiting for the Sephora spring sales event to start before I bought these because they are kind of expensive and I don't know if I'm gonna like them. So I was gonna wait for this because I'm a Rouge member, so I get 20% off. So I saved a lot of money on all of this. Um, but I got the infamous Kosas tinted face oil this box is so dirty you guys like i ordered it online and then i went in store to pick up so it's not like i like got to pick out this it was just already in the bag and then when i like got home and looked at it i was like what the heck but i already opened it up and it's not used or anything so that's good but it's just like the box looks terrible i'm glad i wasn't getting this for a gift for somebody but anyway i got the tinted face oil and then i got the concealer to go along with it and i just got one shade lighter in the concealer and then i also decided to get the cloud set baked setting powder because 
This is like a face oil, something I've never tried before, but it's supposed to be a really pretty dewy finish, but I always like to set my foundation, so I just decided to get the Kosas one since it's meant for that, and this is sheer medium. So that's everything I got from the Sephora Spring Savings event. I'm so excited to try these out. I might even just do it today. Okay, guys, first impressions are 10 out of 10 for this face oil. I just put it on. I will say that when I first put it on, um, it poured like literally everywhere because it's obviously a face oil and I knew it was going to be like runnier But I was not expecting it to be that runny like it literally just pours out like an oil It's very much like it says a tinted oil not at all like a typical foundation, but my skin is glowing literally glowing it's very dewy um, I really do like it at first It was so dewy that my face looked really greasy and I do not have oily skin. I have I would say pretty normal to combination skin and it made my skin look greasy but then once I set it with the Kosas setting powder it set very nicely. I also have on my lips that Rare Beauty lip balm and then I also have on that liquid eyeshadow which I really like. It's like very subtle but pretty and then all I did was just put a little bit of mascara on and honestly like I'm not going anywhere today. It's a nice Sunday at home, but I want it to just wear this all day and kind of see how it holds up. It feels like I just have a thick layer of like moisturizer on. It's very nourishing on the skin, which I like for a change because I feel like foundation can be drying and this feels really hydrating. It's 4.30 now and the storm is rolling through. I just got like two notifications on my phone that there's like an extreme storm watch. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect. So. The electricity already went out one time because it always freaking goes out. Um, but it came right back on, but it was enough to make my computer shut off right in the middle of what I was doing. And now the internet and the TV are out. So I'm just sitting here having myself a bowl of cereal, filling up the bathtub because I'm cold and I just feel like taking a bubble bath. I'm in bed now about to watch Ginny and Georgia on Netflix. And I want to show you guys this ice cream that I got earlier this week. It's Oli ice cream, but it's coffee flavored. Like how amazing does that sound? Literally love oat milk in my coffee. So coffee ice cream with oat milk just sounds so good. Good morning guys, what's up? Happy Monday. It is the next day, obviously. I didn't vlog anything else last night because I was such a bum. I literally just laid in bed and ate snacks and watched Netflix for like four hours and then I read my book and went to bed. It was a nice Sunday, but definitely not as productive as my Sundays usually are. Like Sundays are usually my cleaning day and laundry day and I did neither of those things because it was raining and raining just leads to a lack of productivity for me. Anyone else? I'm at the gym bright and early and I'm wearing my new cute Gymshark shirt and pants and I'm so excited because these are like really really comfortable more comfortable than the regular vital seamless and i can't remember the name of these but i will link them but they're the ones with the cheetah print that i showed you guys that i got and then this shirt oh my gosh i just feel so bright and awake with this shirt on right now but today is leg day so let's go just got finished and that was such a good workout i just posted on instagram that i'm starting jess hutchins program um fit set round two because i completed the 12 weeks of the first fit set and i completely forgot to tell you guys that was last week or no the week before last week was my last week and then last week I just did you know some of my own workouts and this week I'm starting round two but I'm no longer food tracking because at this point I've learned enough and just agreed that it's not really necessary for me to track my food anymore I'm just going to be intuitive eating listening to my body making sure that I'm not like consuming too many fun foods that's what she says you know with unhealthy stuff but for the most part, I'm really happy with my body right now and I just kind of want to be in maintenance mode. So I'm just going to be following her program in terms of workouts, but I'm not going to be food tracking anymore, which is nice because I was getting really tired of tracking my food for 12 weeks straight. Oh. Back home and I'm making some eggs for breakfast. I am starving. Here's my breakfast. I messed up one of the eggs. Not surprising though, because I always do that. But this one, yeah, this one, there's a yolk still there, but this one broke. Oh well, still gonna be delicious. And I made two pieces of toast because I'm extra hungry. Just posted the announcement for Seven Design Co that I changed the name to Sun Styled Co because I really wanted Sun Styled and my digital design company to just kind of run under one. It makes it a lot easier for me. And I felt like Sun Styled Co just still sounded good and would work well 
for digital planning. So everything is still the same. So if you're interested in shopping digital planners, I have some new ones coming out soon. I'm working on some projects right now and I'm so excited. But instead of it being its own website like it was for 7 Design Co, it's actually located at the bottom of SunStyled. And this link here, it says SunStyled Co. And then you just click that and it brings you to all of the digital projects. This is gonna make my life so much easier for tax purposes as well as for my CPA, just kind of keeping everything in one place. So I've decided to merge the two. I hope you guys don't mind. Well, it's literally one o'clock now and I just got off the phone literally like two hours go by of me dealing with customer service people from UPS. It's so annoying. I'm now at my computer about to pack orders. I have a bunch of orders to pack that came in over the weekend and I got my really cute little thank you cards in. So I'm actually going to write on the back of some of these, which is so fun. I'm really happy to start writing thank you cards again, but I got some of both types. So I have the kind where there's writing already on the back and a coupon code. And then I also got ones where the back is blank for me to write a little thank you note on. So if I have time, I'll do it. But if I don't have time, then I can always just throw one of those in there, depending. You're officially caught up on orders. And now I'm going to go pull my laundry out of the dryer and fold that up. And then Chad and I are going to grocery shop. six o'clock now and I did not vlog too much because I've been like honestly super super stressed out you guys like <laughs> so stressed out and I'm telling Chad like why do I feel so overwhelmed right now obviously yes I have a lot to do but it's not like I didn't get anything done today I got all of my laundry done I went to the gym this morning we just got back from grocery shopping and I packed all the orders and took them all to the post office so that's a pretty productive day, even though I still have more to do. Like it's only Monday. We still have more days left in the week. But anyways, I wanted to give you guys a quick little update on the Kosas skin tint oil stuff. I really, really wanted to love it. I wanted to say like, this is it. I love it because it's so freaking lightweight and it's very nourishing and it feels so good on your skin. It makes you glow. But this is day two and yesterday, I didn't give you an update at the end of the night, but I wore it all the way up until I went to sleep and washed my face. And by the time I went to go take it off, it was just like almost missing in like random spots. Like it was just like, like wiped away, even though I didn't wipe it away at all. Um, so I just feel like the wear isn't good enough because I don't have super oily skin. I also don't think I was really touching my face much at all yesterday. And it's oily enough to where you can see like my mascara is like running down here, which I'm not okay with because my normal foundation does not do that. So that kind of sucks because I really, really wanted to love it, but I think it's gonna be a no for me on that one. I'll have to find another really lightweight foundation that is not a tinted skin oil because it just doesn't last and I need something that actually like stays on my face. You guys, I just got my new markers in and these are so nice. I ordered these specifically for writing on thank you cards and they are so pretty. The colors are like the perfect shades for my business because this is literally like my color palette for sun style. It's all just like warm pinks, oranges, peaches and this has a whole box full of them and they're dual tipped which is amazing and i'm just like so excited about these i feel like a little kid but how cute is the little box that it came in very aesthetic if you need some markers for whatever reason i would highly suggest these guys i'm over here doing literal swatches of these markers it's so satisfying like the colors they're so pretty and these are also like really comfortable to hold because they're like triangular well it's way later now and i just took all my makeup off and oh it feels so good to take your makeup off at the end of the night i just put toner on and i'm just kind of letting my skin breathe for a little bit and then i'm gonna put moisturizer on before i go to sleep but anyways i am gonna end this vlog here chad and i are about to watch tv so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video